Hello everybody, my name is Tyler Lloyd and I live in Kentucky. It is July right now and you may be hearing a whole lot of insects in the background, definitely some cicadas, but one thing that I don't have, at least a lot of, are mosquitoes. But that wasn't always the case. This time last year, it was nearly unbearable to be outside on my property, but we have done a lot of things to help get rid of those mosquitoes uh, that did involve a whole bunch of harmful chemicals. So I'm gonna tell you what we did and what you can do to uh, get rid of them on your property. The thing that has absolutely helped the most would be this bucket and the many more just like it that I have around my property. This bucket is filled with water. It is an absolute mosquito magnet, but rather than being a breeding ground for mosquitoes, it is a place where their life cycle goes to die. Because inside the bucket, I have these, a mosquito dunk. Actually, just one fourth of a mosquito dunk for every five gallon bucket that I go around and replace once a month. Now, these right here are contain a bacteria and that bacteria releases a chemical substance that disrupts the life cycle by affecting the, the gut lining of the larva so they are unable to eat, they never mature, they never turn into more mosquitoes. And the nice thing about these, you know, it, yes, they're releasing a chemical substance, but it doesn't harm other plants, animals, anything else. Totally safe for birds, uh, for frogs, amphibians, uh, your pets, Anything else, totally fine. Uh, so you can, you know, use these in these buckets. And I'm gonna tell you how you can make one. Step one, get yourself a five gallon bucket. And then find some leaves, straw, hay, any, you know, vegetation matter to put into that bucket. And then fill it up halfway with water. All that vegetative matter is going to break down, make that water absolutely disgusting, which is a perfect place for a mosquito to come lay their larva. And then put a stick in the bucket that extends out of the bucket. And the reason I do this is for anything that may fall in there. Let's say a frog falls in there. Uh, this gives it a way out so it's not trapped in the bucket. I want these buckets to kill mosquitoes but not be harming any other wildlife on my property. Throw in a half or quarter mosquito dunk and then wait. After a few days, it'll get nice and putrid and the mosquitoes will start laying their eggs in there and you'll see the little larva floating around. But as I've said, those larvae aren't gonna mature. So you've won the battle with mosquitoes. But that's not the only thing that you can do to help manage mosquitoes on your property. So I've got some more tips for you. Before I get into those, let's just talk briefly about mosquitoes and why you should worry about managing them on your property. Yes, they are a nuisance, but they're also a disease vector. They help spread disease. Now, a lot of the diseases that mosquitoes spread aren't that prevalent in the United States now. I'm talking about malaria, Zika, dengue fever. But with climate change, the distribution of mosquitoes, particularly the ones that carry these diseases, are changing. Uh, just this year, there have been eight confirmed cases of malaria in the United States. Malaria that wasn't contracted overseas and then someone came over. Malaria that was contracted in the United States, transferred from people. Uh, and this is probably only going to get worse with climate change. So it's important to manage the mosquitoes on your property because they're absolutely annoying, but there's something that you can do about it. Over the past year, my wife and I have been cleaning up our property and removed a whole bunch of trash. Uh, several tires and tires and other trash material uh, are breeding grounds for mosquitoes because rain falls, they create little pockets of stagnant water which mosquitoes can then breed in. So the first thing you can do is clean up all the trash in any place where water might stand. But it might not be possible to get rid of all the places that you have standing water on your property. I've got a drain pipe uh, that water comes out of, that, but that's a wet area. So I can take mosquito dunks or mosquito bits, which are just little granules of the same stuff, and put that in that area. If you've got any tarps, let's say on top of a wood pile or covering a tractor or something, uh, water can pool right there. Throw some mosquito bits there. So first, get rid of any possible standing water, and then any place you've got water, which includes bird baths, uh, you can put a mosquito dunk in there. 
Uh, but also, if you've got a bird bath, uh, you should clean that out regularly anyway, uh, changing out the water, uh, even giving it a little rinse with a bleach solution to help kill some of the pathogens that could be spreading to uh, birds. So there's another uh, fun fact for you or, or tip to uh, help manage your property. But let's get back to mosquitoes and how you can manage those. So right now I am in my garden, which I'm growing all sorts of vegetables, but also some very fragrant culinary herbs. You may have heard that you can grow certain plants to repel mosquitoes. Well, I am sorry to say that that's just not backed by science. It's not true. While there are essential oils and plant extracts that can be used for all natural repellents that you can put on your body, uh, that can be burned as a citronella candle, that are very, very effective, actually growing those plants in your yard by themselves, it's not going to repel mosquitoes. Even the mosquito plant, a plant named for its you know, supposed ability to repel mosquitoes, has not been shown to repel mosquitoes. So don't even bother growing them for that reason. But of course, still grow them. And since I've disparaged planting plants to repel mosquitoes, uh, let me take an opportunity to say how other biological controls may not work. And I'm thinking of bat boxes. I want to put some bat boxes on my property uh, to have a nesting site for bats, uh, but bat boxes have not been shown to actually reduce mosquito populations to a noticeable extent. I think maybe that's because, you know, mosquitoes are small and bats would have to eat a whole lot of mosquitoes uh, if that was the only thing that they're eating. Yes, they eat some mosquitoes, but they're probably going after somewhat larger, more substantive prey uh, to make up the bulk of their diet. So have your bat boxes, but don't put up a bat box thinking that that's going to solve your mosquito problem. Because it won't. You can also clean up the vegetation on your property. Mosquitoes like taller grass rather than shorter grass. They also, for some reason, like invasive and exotic plants more than native plants. Particularly honeysuckle, uh, which I've been trying to eradicate. The invasive honeysuckle, not the native form of honeysuckle. And yet another reason to get rid of invasive plants on your property. Okay, maybe you live in a neighborhood and you've done everything you can uh, on your property to help manage mosquitoes, but maybe your neighbors haven't done the same. So you're still gonna have a population of mosquitoes that you're going to want to try to deter. Yes, those citronella candles uh, and bug sprays will help with that, uh, but also you can just use a fan. Uh, maybe you are fortunate enough to have a nice porch area where you have a light where you can install a fan up there, uh, or you can just get a box fan. Just having that moving air will help keep mosquitoes away because mosquitoes are really bad at flying. Uh, so any amount of wind moving around uh, will help keep them away from you. And you know, if you live like me in Kentucky where it's really hot, uh, I welcome a nice breeze. So get a fan. And there you have it, that's my list. I didn't talk about those thermocell deterrents or the machines that generate CO2 to capture and collect them because I don't have any personal experience with them. I've read that they, they do work and they are effective, but I haven't tried it myself, so I wouldn't want to recommend it to you all. But if you have tried something that you found to be very effective for managing mosquitoes that I didn't mention, leave it in the comment down below. I always appreciate the comments and the interaction I have with people that watch my videos. If you want more videos about living a happier, healthier, more sustainable life, because that's kind of the, the general style and genre, the thing that I'm going for here on this YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe or uh, maybe check out some of these videos that the YouTube algorithm thinks that you like. Until next time, my name is Tyler Lloyd, and I wish you a happy, healthy, mosquito-free life. Talk to you later. Bye.